Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a problem from one of my subscribers and he has a problem. In the plant uh, two genes have cumulative influence on weight of the fruits. Each dominant allele at 10 grams to a minimum basic weight of 30 grams. In a cross between the hybrid plants having weight of 50 grams each, what percentage of offspring would have a fruits weighting in 40 grams? And this problem is classical problem of additive trait. So imagine uh, when we have two genes, gene say gene A and B, and uh, both gene A and B has two alleles. So uh, gene A has allele capital A and small a, and uh, gene B has also two alleles capital B and small b. So uh, in diploid organism we may have variety of the genotypes. For example, genotype that is going to be homozygous recessive for both alleles, for both genes, uh, would be small a, small a, and small b, small b. This genotype would make a fruit. Uh, here you may see that weights 30 grams. So let's make this category which we would call 30 gram category and next category would be 30 gram plus 10 grams. And what uh, genotypes we can list in this category? The first genotype can be dominant allele A would add 10 extra grams to the weight and the rest alleles would be uh, recessive. Another genotype can be for example uh, small a and capital A small b small b. Another variant would be small a small a and capital B small b. Another genotype in this category can be uh, small a small a small b and capital B. So all these genotypes those different would make one phenotype uh, which we call uh, 40 grams fruits. So these genotypes would make fruits with uh, fruits that weight 40 grams. And another category can be 30 grams plus 20. So this is going to be 50 grams. And once again we can have genotypes as follows capital A capital A small b small b or capital A small a capital B small b. Another variant can be for example small a small a capital B capital B and small a capital A capital B and small b. And I didn't list all uh, variants here. I just want to tell you that everything we have to count uh, number of uh, dominant alleles. So in this category only one dominant allele would add 10 extra gram and uh, in this category uh, two dominant alleles would add 20 grams to phenotype. So here we have 30 plus 20 and of course if we would have uh, three dominant alleles we have to add 30 grams and if all four alleles would be dominant we would have uh, 30 grams plus 40 grams so uh, 70 grams. So in this system as you see uh, we may have variety of uh, fruits that would vary between 30 grams up to 70 grams maximum and uh, this genotype would be uh, this sorry phenotype would be made by this genotype and this genotype would be made by um, when all four alleles would be dominant so dominant A, dominant A, dominant B and dominant B which uh, each would add 10 grams to the basic phenotype uh, which is 30 grams and this is going to be variation 
between 30 grams and 70 grams. So now uh, I think that most of you, if not all, got uh, this idea of additive trait and now we can return to a solution of this problem. So we are told that um, to dehybrid, so in a cross between dehybrid plants having weight of 50 grams each, what percentage of the offspring would have fruits weighting in 40 grams? And let me clean space a little bit here. Uh, both dehybrid uh, plants, meaning that uh, genotype would be capital A, small a, capital B, small b. We have to cross with another plant whose genotype also would be dehybrid, so capital A, small a, and capital B, small b. And uh, this is classical dehybrid cross. Uh, as you see, we have here two dominant alleles. So phenotype would be 30 grams plus 20 extra, so 50. And of course, this parent has the same genotype, so also would weight 50 grams. And now we have to build a Punnett square. We have to find all the probable uh, gametes that this parent would produce and the first variant would be capital A and capital B as you know gametes have to be uh, haploid so if we have here diploid organism it's say pollen uh, would be haploid so first variant of the gamete would be uh, capital A and capital B second variant would be capital A and small b, capital A and small b, third variant would be small a and capital B, small a and capital B, and the last variant would be small a and small b. Once again, we are listing all the variants of the gametes, so small a and small b. And second parent, because second parent has the same uh, genotype also would produce the same type of gametes. So we can list, uh, say this is going to be parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2. So we listed here on the top uh, of our table uh, gametes that parent 1 would produce but parent 2 also would produce the same type of gametes. So let's list uh, these gametes on the side and this is going to be capital A, capital B, capital A, small b, small a, and capital B, and small a, small b. So now we can build a Punnett square. And this is not classical dehybrid cross, because uh, in classical dehybrid cross, Phenotypes would be, as you remember, 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. But here we would have different ratio because uh, this is additive trait. So let's find out what different genotypes and phenotypes we might hear. So in this cell we would have capital A, capital A, so 1 dominant allele comes from parent uh, 2 and 1 from parent 1 and this parent has dominant allele B and this parent also has dominant allele B so we put it here and capital A capital A here capital B small b here capital A small a here capital B capital B here capital A small a here and capital B small b here capital A capital A here capital B small b here capital A capital A and small b small b capital A small a and capital B small b capital A small a small b small b so we done half of our table capital A, small a, and capital B, capital B, 
capital A small a and capital B small b small a small a capital B capital B small a small a capital B small b and the last column capital A small a and capital B small b capital A small a and small b small b small a small a and capital B small b small a and small a small b small b so let's return to our problem uh, so we crossed two parents that weighed 50 grams each and we have to find um, percentage of the offspring that would weigh 40 grams what does it mean that means we have to find all the genotypes where we have one dominant allele. So let's find all these uh, genotypes. So the first genotype would be here. So one, two, three. Four. So let me check. Three dominant, two dominant, two dominant, three dominant, two dominant, two dominant, and two dominant here. So we would have uh, four uh, such genotypes out of sixteen. So we have square four by. So total number of cells here 16 and 4 out of 16 so 4 out of 16 would be uh, genotype that would produce phenotype uh, of plants with a fruit that would weigh 40 grams. So 4 over 16 would be 1 quarter. Let's return to our problem. And as you see, the correct answer would be answer B. Once again, 4 over 16, we can reduce, we can uh, divide by 4, and the answer would be 1 quarter or 25%. So all these answers are the same. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.